May I now request our next speaker, Ms. Sarama John, the Regional Head of Karnataka at NTAB Infotech Private Limited, to come on stage. Let's have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Ms. Sarama John, the Regional Head of Karnataka at NTAB Infotech Private Limited. Over to you, ma'am. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Para Brahma, Tasme Shri Guruve Namaha, Tasme Shri Guruve Namaha. A happy morning. The most respected, erudite, scholarly, august gathering of chairmen, directors, principals from across the different schools in the country. Myself, Sharma, the regional head Karnataka, deems it a great privilege to represent my company, NTAB Infotech Private Limited. Before I share my thoughts, I would wish to take you all two years down the memory lane. If any year has tested school leadership in recent memory, can I ask all of you, which is that year? 2020, yes, even in our sleep, even when we get up in the morning, 2020 has been the most tested year of school leadership. The sudden monumental shift to remote learning brought on by the sudden monumental shift to remote learning brought on by COVID-19 closed hundreds of schools across the globe. Yes, I am with all the panelists who spoke in the morning, the different emotions which came while they were all speaking right from closed schools, right from the teachers leaving their schools, right from financial topple, the educational magicians churning the future generations overnight navigated their staff and students to respond to the biggest professional crisis of their lifetime. Let me make it quick. I definitely want to say these emotions because one of the panelists rightly said, the unsung warriors, nobody has spoken about it. While we were all aware of the tremendous fortitude displayed unerringly by medical staff, administrative services, and security officials across the world during the pandemic, what was largely being overlooked is the robust performance of the teaching fraternity. No mobiles inside the school premises. Whenever we visited the school, we had a big board showcasing no mobiles inside the schools. The time came when the mobile, the school was in the mobile, right? To chalk and duster mode to mouse and keyboard from four world classrooms to virtual platforms. You were the best and you proved you are the best now as well. Twenty twenty was also a year of a historical moment. I'm sure all would you all of you would be aware 
When the National Education Policy of India 2020 was approved by the Union Cabinet of India on 29 July 2020, this policy outlines the vision of a new education system of India. So let me applaud the unsung warriors of this pandemic. I humbly request all of you to give a thumping pat on your tables for all of yourself. You have braced the storm. You are here. Now, let me get into the topic and I will just run through that when the national education policy meets technology. We all know Finland's education system is the best in the world and globally recognized. Now, when we, are, when we see the number of students there, it is one million students. And now we have said that Finland is the best education system. And what happens to India? We have 250 million students within our country. It is a continent in itself. So, what can ensure that Indian education gets to those standards? What should we do to achieve those standards? Yes, the answer is very clear. An effective education policy with a synergy of technology. Some changes which has come through NEP. Technology can help us implement, achieve the changes suggested by the new education policy. Yes, I'm sure the principals who are here would have definitely attended the 50 hours of training as part of the national education policy, and I don't need to further elaborate on it. Yes, the very word examination has been taken out. It has become the assessment engine. No word, nowhere the word examination exists anymore. It is assessment. It is outcome-based learning. The assessment has to be made by outcome-based learning. We have competency-based education, experiential lesson plan, we have related concepts to real life. Let me proudly inform you that NTAB Infotech has been serving the educational institution for the past 20 years. And here, we are here to hold hands with you, to give you a feel of experiential lab. Now, Every learner is different. In a class, all of you know, some might be kinesthetic, some might be auditory, some might be visual. Every learner is different. The learner, the learning journey, or the learner's journey. We at NTAB have formulated, devised, designed our solutions exactly mapped to the national education policy. And I'm here to vouch that we are the pioneers. We would never say that we have professionals working with us. Let me place on records, we have a lovely, lovely team of teachers who have worked in the educational institutions with top-led schools in Delhi NCR, who have join hands with us, and they have devised a beautiful lesson plan. The lesson plan, as CBSE many principals are sitting here, they know there was a circular dated 21st January, which says experiential learning has to be mandatory followed in schools. I very well know, I humbly accept that many of the schools are already practicing experiential learning. Definitely, I agree with you. Now, what are the real challenges? Some of the challenges were highlighted in the panel discussion. Some of the teachers have left us, left the school and gone. 
Some of the schools have closed down. Now, how to train these students? We need to empower teachers. Let me make, place it on records. NTAB is not here to replace teachers. We are here to give you the tools to empower your teachers. How? Every, like one of the panelists said, uh, in fact, I think, uh, uh, Sir Gare Innovation, uh, the main moderator for the first panel discussion, did mention, we needn't run after the curriculum. We can stick with one topic. We can divide that topic. So let me say here that our experiential lesson plans are completely mapped in the way Sir was speaking. Every topic is dealt, it is disintegrated point-wise. So now, what are the challenges? How to implement NEP 2020 guidelines? Everybody is planning about, is talking about planning, training, planning, training, but how to do the execution? How to map teaching to learning outcomes? How to overcome the challenges of competency-based education? rooted with experiential lesson plan. Now, we all know that when COVID stuck us, many of the schools had adapted to new technology. It was their choice. But once COVID hit us, we all made it. It was not a choice. We had to adopt technology. There was no looking back. Overnight, we all shifted to the technology and we were there as teachers, as academic instructors, we were there to deliver the best. Lot of platforms like Zoom, MS Teams, Google Meet, acceptance of technology, that is what, let me take a positive note. We always loved the word positive in our earlier days, but suddenly past two years, the moment somebody says positive, we get scared. But one more aspect which I would like to highlight here is the biggest gift COVID gave us is being, going and acceptance of technology. So we have started accepting technology. We all know earlier days, now if we open our mobile phones, we have Zoom, Microsoft, parents have everything inside their phone itself. And TAB has been empowering K-12 schools to nurture collaborative thinking and innovation for the past two decades. We are here to provide the right technology, which will serve as a catalyst in bringing right transformation with right process, right systems, and scaling heights for the institution. This is the journey of NTAP. We started 20 years back when there were no organization who were actually providing a complete automated solution for schools. We started with offline technology, and here we are. We are in the third decade. We are here to give you an experience of experiential lab. So, conclusively, I know you have been patiently hearing me. I would just highlight the uniqueness of our solutions. When NEP came into the rollout, the most important factor which was highlighted was experiential learning. I read it, I forget, I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Yes, that is what experiential less, uh, learning. The parameters what we have taken into our experiential lesson plan is learning outcomes, previous knowledge, 
warm up activity providing experience conceptualization inferences extended learning connecting to real life situation cross curricular linkage and skill development so thank you august gathering before i wind up i would like to play a short video of our solutions solutions is mapped to ncert curriculum and cbse syllabus first of all teachers get standardized experiential lesson plans with options to customize them in our experiential learning modules stage 1 begins with concrete experience related to the concept from real life using cutting edge technology love early morning jogs as it is good for our health especially our lungs and heart let me show you something interesting here you go look at his heart it's beating so fast and we know that because he's jogging now when i look at the topmost point of india gate the imaginary line from my eyes to the point of observation is called the line of sight so the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer now you can see that an angle is formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight this angle is called the angle of elevation of top of india gate from my eyes one system works to move blood between the heart and the lungs and is known as pulmonary circulation and the other system works to move blood between the heart and across the body and is known as systemic circulation did you get that it's actually the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation which are together known as double circulation we all know that fish have gills instead of lungs the oxygenation of blood in fishes takes place in the gills yes exactly in the gills the heart pumps the deoxygenated blood collected in the atrium to the gills through ventricles where it gets oxygenated what makes this instrument produce the sound so let's get into it more precisely when the string of the guitar is plucked it starts vibrating and produces a sound and now when the tongue of the bell so thank you for the patient hearing let me wish on behalf of entab infotech a wonderful blessed year for all of you let us all come out victorious you the unsung warriors i take a bow to all of you we are here to join hands with you to help you in your further journey thank you thank you ma'am may i request mr anil sharma to felicitate ms sarama john please